his his first few pieces, I think that the very uh, first one that uh, really uh, broke through was. Um, uh, do you know that one where where the fella is walking by all of the various women and like and just and he says something and then they kind of will rip his skin off and then you know pour salt on his. I have not seen that. Okay. I have not it's seen his, that. One. It's his first one. <laughs> okay. And um, and I remember seeing that in animation festival and I just loved it. Um, the first few pieces that he did, uh, I, I think were uh, were really really wonderful. Um, that I'm not quite as familiar with his more uh, with his more recent work. Have you seen um, Rejected? Yeah, but it's been a while. Okay, it's exactly. been a while. Yeah, I, I, been me long. too. But I, yeah. I, that was one of the first uh, online videos I ever saw. Was that? Well, uh, that actually uh, that one I believe that Rejected was um, was made. Um, God, I think maybe about twelve years ago. I think mm -hmm. that uh, Rejected, if I remember right, is from maybe about two thousand, maybe two thousand one. Um, and uh, that one, I think that uh, that's just when the technology to start doing online video was really starting to pick up a lot of steam. And so that was actually an animation festival favorite before it was ever really kind of uh, uh, put out online all that much. Um, well, I don't. I don't really know if I de deconstructed uh, any sort of hip hip hipsterism. That um, no, I really don't think I did because because um, uh, I think actually when I was working on that piece, I realized that uh, that really deconstructing it was uh, was close to impossible, and um, <clears throat> and uh, I I certainly wouldn't uh, I wouldn't know uh, what to say to that uh, to. To that whole scene, anyway. But I think that the interesting thing, though, is that um, uh, you know, naturally, it's a it's a very dirty word uh, in, you know, to to a lot of people for sure. But um, I th I think the the thing that bothered me about that scene, and what usually happens in, in almost any kind of underground scene, is that uh, that usually I like an awful lot of the things that they like. And that's fine. There's no, there's no way I'm gonna, uh, that I would uh, give anybody any guff about that. The only thing that really uh, that ever bothered me about uh, about the scene was um, is uh, that uh, is just how that it's used as um, that uh, knowledge of of cool and, and interesting new things is used as a way to look down on other people, and that's the only problem I have with it. I mean, and and it's weird because you know you almost want to, you know, almost want to keep your 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 new Soft Moon record hidden because you don't really want uh, anybody to know that you really enjoy it. <laughs>
I just think that they, uh, I just think that they go together. Um, that if I <clears throat> put some, um, uh, sometimes that's actually a way to, uh, to get yourself out of a bit of a rut, uh, uh is when you're, um, uh, if all of a sudden, like, you know, I'm worrying so much about, like, you know, how I'm writing something and how, um, how the verbal part of it is coming across, then, uh, just to, just to shift gears and pay an awful lot more attention to, um, uh, uh to, to the aesthetics for a little while. And, um, that sort of little shake-up is just a, is a way of, uh, of balancing it. I completely forgot what your question was. That depends on them. Yeah. That um, what I've heard uh, a bazillion times um, uh, from people is uh, that when they read the book and they're reading the words, they hear my voice dictating them, and that's there's nothing wrong with that. You know, that's just fine. And um, and it's hard to say like how people would uh, would respond to it. Um, uh, you know, if they've never actually heard the sound of my voice. Uh, although, there's um, a couple of the earliest people that I remember um, selling zines to uh, when I was um, in the early stages of, uh, of, doing, of doing the zines, um, that uh, I sold it to, uh, to a couple of people that I didn't really know very well. And uh, then later they um, they were saying like you know, how much they really liked the comics, and I was like, how do you like the videos? Oh, I didn't watch them. Yet. And so that uh, it's it's entirely possible that um, that uh, uh, people will complain um, frequently, and it's I, I I have to say I really get a kick out of this one is that um, uh, that w when I was uh, selling the selling the book, you know, people would kind of like look at it or they would message boards, hey, you know, this book, this comic, this panel comic here, it isn't a video. I can't hear your voice when I'm reading this. And it's, it's a very, that's a pretty weird argument, man. Um, uh, but I think that they, I think that they go hand in hand. And um, it's, I think it's kind of better if you might have seen some of the videos, uh, probably, but you know, what do I know? I don't know. There's a reason why someone invented the word alienate. There's a reason why someone invented the word misanthrope. Maybe I was born either way too early or way too late. There seems to be a program you're supposed to go along with, and I have no interest in going along with it. I'm sick of this. Really sick of this. No. I think that, uh, that again, it's a sort of thing of like... Um, uh, the, the ones that are specific stories, um, at least for the time being anyway, they're, they're a lot harder to write, um, because I think that, um, that, uh, because, uh, at least lately anyway, that I've gotten a little bit too wrapped up in, um, in trying to tell the story, uh, in a certain way. Um, so then doing the other ones that are kind of random observations, it's, it's a little easier at the moment. Um, but I think that there's probably going to be a point where it's going to flip back over and it's going to be easier to tell more solid narratives.